Fairfax Mars. And you may not have heard this, this is the new one on me, as a matter of fact. What we have going is massive voter fraud in Maryland. This is from the Baltimore Sun, which is basically the equivalent of Washington Compost and what have you. Amid immigration battles, College Park considers giving non-citizens voting rights. Unbelievable. They mean illegal aliens, by the way. Officials in College Park are winning a plan that will make their city largest in Maryland to give undocumented immigrants, illegal aliens, a right to vote in local elections. A long-standing practice elsewhere in the state that has drawn new scrutiny amid simmering national debate over immigration. We're not talking about immigration here. These are lawbreakers. If they're here, Ill undocumented, then they are lawbreakers! This is crime! Oh my... What in the hell? The Prince George's County City, home of the flagship University of Maryland campus and some 30,000 residents, is considering a measure to let non-citizens cast vote ballots for mayor and city council, making it the largest target in a movement that has had more success in Maryland than anywhere else in the United States. Well, duh! Here's, here, right here's your proof of that there's massive voter fraud. They're admitting to it, but they don't even call it by what it is. The name that it is. It's voter fraud! Duh! College Park officials are debating the Charter Amendment after a divisive national election in which immigration played a prominent part. Uh, more like border security. Many left-wing cities, including Baltimore, are now at odds with President Trump's initial effort to fulfill campaign promise to crack down on immigration violations. It means that they're run by Baltimore and other cities are run by crooks. Supporters of the College Park measure say local elections center on trash collections, snow removal, and other municipal services that affect people regardless of their citizenship status. I don't care. The proposal, like those already approved in other small Maryland cities and towns, would not allow in undocumented immigrants to vote for president, senator, congressman, or governor. Governor. That is a lie. Sorry, I don't believe it. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. If they're allowing them to vote in local elections, they're going to allow them to vote in those elections, too. So that is a lie. These folks, these are folks that have a significant stake in our community. Yeah, they're breaking the law, and who rely on facilities in our city, said Cal College Park City Councilwoman Christine Nagel, who's sponsoring the measure. To me, it just made sense. Yes, madam, uh, it makes sense to me that you should be sent to prison. Opponents say immigrants, even those in the country legally, such as green card holders, should not be able to have a say in the direction of the community until they complete the process of becoming a citizen. Yeah, I'd say that's correct. On a personal level, I do not agree that non-citizens should be voting, College Park Councilwoman Mary C. Cook said. Uh, still, Cook says she will listen to her constituents before making a decision on the measure. And this goes on and on. It's too long. Well, right here you go, folks. Here's your proof of your voter fraud. This is fr this is voter fraud. This is a felony. The whole damn lot of them should be sent straight to jail. And spend a long, long time there. This is voter fraud. This is what, why uh, Donald Trump got elected. One of the reasons. 
because he promised, you know, get the borders sealed and start deporting illegal aliens, and he's been doing at least some of that. He's uh, made some headway. Uh, illegal border crossings are down. This is voter fraud. Right here's your proof. They openly admit it. They don't call it voter fraud, of course, but they openly admit they're doing it. Unbelievable. So, you want a proof of voter fraud? Right there you have it. I'm on the facts of Mars. Thanks for watching.